Hey guys, it's Zach again, back at it with another liquid e-juice review. Uh, it's your favorite uh, Malaysian e-juice specialist back. Yep, another video. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out our other videos, um, make sure you guys check them out. We did plenty, plenty of different reviews on creamy and uh, fruity liquids. But what's important is that today, we're gonna be reviewing the Medusa series. That's right guys, it's a comeback of the Medusa juice. Um, also for you guys out there, uh, if you guys stay long enough to the end of the video, we're going to be giving out a discount code. So make sure you guys watch till the end of the video, share, subscribe and everything. And you'll get that discount. So if you guys are familiar with the Malaysia market, or for those of you who aren't familiar with the Malaysia market, uh, Medusa e-juice was one of the top selling e-juices uh, back in the day. So in around 2014, 2015, um, one of their biggest... Uh, ooh, Apologies for the thunder, it's kind of raining and we're uh, shooting because, you know, we're grinding out here for you guys. Um, yeah, as I was saying, if you guys are familiar with it, the Pure Gold uh, e-juice and I think the Pink Diamond e-juice was one of the top sellers back then. Uh, however, today we're going to be reviewing only the Blue Osiris, Green Haze and Pure Gold uh, because uh, these are the ones I think uh, we personally want to highlight. Uh, before we actually get into it, uh, I want to just restate that again, as usual, this is a 100% unre unpaid review. Uh, these are just my honest opinion and um, also whatever I say in this video uh, about the good things and the bad things about this flavor uh, may not be, you might not share the same perspective as me. Uh, again, everyone has their own uh, flavor profiles and what they like and what they don't like. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first one is the Blue Osiris. Take a look at the packaging, real nice, sleek. You can see the packaging from the Medusa juice has uh, definitely gone up in quality from its 2014 counterpart. Uh, in the back, you can see you have all the information. Uh, Medusa juice is now actually a global uh, company. You can see they have like France, Belgium, uh, Netherlands, Germany, and Italy, and England. So yeah, it's quite a global, global e-juice. Um, on the side, you have all the information about the VGPG company info, and yeah, let's just take a look at the the actual uh, design of the box, the actual logo. It's actually quite quite nice, the Medusa, um, very famous Medusa logo. Beautiful. So, all right, um, this is the actual bottle itself. It's really nice, sleek finishing. The back you have all your information on your uh, on the ingredients, everything like that. So let's get right into it. Let's just test it. So Blue Osiris is actually a mango black currant flavor, and um, yeah, I have quite high hopes for this, especially since Medusa are making a big comeback this year. A few inches later. So today I'll be using the uh, Chara Mini with the uh, Athena RDA dripper. I'm using a standard 24 Kenthal build. Uh, build. 3.0 diameter, six loops, should give you around uh, 0 0.3 ohms, around there. I'll be vaping this at 53 watts, uh, which is suitable for this build. Uh, so let's give it a try. Wow, really, really nice, really smooth flavor. You can really taste the mango coming out. Uh, and it's also uh, mixed with the uh, black currant. However, I think the uh, if you compare this to other e-liquids on the market, uh, mango black currants are usually very, very sweet. This one is just perfectly uh, nice and subtle. The sweetness is it's there, but it's not overpowering. So for those of you who enjoy um, vaping liquids that aren't too sweet, this is perfect for you. Damn. That mango is really, really nice. Really comes out. Vapor production is amazing. 60, 40 VGPG for all of them. Really, really nice. Um, let's move on to the next one, Green Haze. This is Green Haze, again, beautiful packaging. Uh, once again, we apologize for any leakage of the green screen in the background. Uh, we hope to sort that out very soon. Um, so yeah. Again, like I said, 60-40 BGPG. This is Melon Dew Peach. Let's give it a try. You guys might be asking why we're not opening the box itself. Uh, this is actually a privilege that you can get in a Cigaro Vape Store. These are actual testers that we have in the store. So 
Usually a lot of the vape stores, you walk in and you're unable to test the flavors. You just walk in, look at the packaging, buy the flavor, and how many times has it turned out that you come home and the flavor is not that great? Or it doesn't, um, it doesn't taste as it's supposed to be or as it was marketed to be. Um, this is one of the, like I said, the advantages of coming to the Cigar or Vape Store. We actually provide tester mods uh, and tester flavors for the customers in order for you guys to try it and see what you guys like. So, let's give it a try. Wow. Very, very nice. Beautiful throat hit. A lot more stronger compared to the Blue Osiris. Um, again, the flavor was melon, if I'm not mistaken. Melon dew peach. Um, you don't really taste the peach as much. I'm not sure if it's the coil build. Uh, maybe you guys can at home could just try out a double coil build and leave it in the comments. Tell you, uh, tell me what you think. How is it? But yeah, like it's like I said, the melon is the predominant flavor. The only thing that really hits you in the face. Quite good, quite good. But I still think the uh, Blue Osiris. It's a little bit better, the, a lot less, um, a lot less sweet, and it's a lot less harsh on your throat. All right, so let's move on to the next flavor, pure gold, the infamous pure gold, making that big comeback. Look at that packaging. Oof. Again, everything, all the information on the side, beautiful logo. Here's the bottle itself. Really, really nice. Again, sleek finish. Just test it. Again, as usual, just dry out the cotton and put on your new flavor, make it nice and wet. Give it a nice little pre-fire. Beautiful. Let's cap it off. Give it a try. Vape production is uh, a little bit less compared to the other two. Uh, I think that's because this is a 12MG compared to the other 6MG and can't quite uh, get those big rips as I expected. But flavor-wise, still the same as its old flavor. It's, a, it's standard. There's a reason why it was, um, it was taught back in 2014 and 2015. And sorry, I forgot to mention the flavor of Pure Gold is actually a crisp pear mix. So it's a mixed fruit, um, I think. Had to have another taste on that. Yeah, it's a mixed fruit with uh, pear. You can really taste the pear. Again, uh, it's quite comparable to the Blue Osiris with that it's, uh, its flavor is not as sweet compared to Green Haze. But uh, overall, it's, it's quite good. There's a reason why, like I said, it was the top seller. Overall, out of all three of these flavors, I think I prefer personally the Blue Osiris, which is a mango black currant because it's not too sweet. Like if I had to give a rating, I think Green Haze would be the sweetest. Uh, then second would be pure gold and then blue osiris and personally i don't really like uh, very sweet flavors so blue osiris would be my recommendation for you guys so now is the time that you guys have all been waiting for uh here is the discount code just for you guys just use that code at cigaro uh, we ship worldwide um to any different countries outside of malaysia as well as even if you are in malaysia uh we also ship nationwide all payments everything is safe and uh yeah uh, my name is Zakwan and I'll see you guys next time.